Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome back. So today we're doing something a little different. Um, since I really can't afford anything that's out there right now, can't find anything that's out there right now, this is going to be episode one of uh, cards and coffee or coffee and cards. We'll go with coffee and cards. And I'm just going to, um, in this little series of videos, I'm just going to pull some of my most favorite cards in my collection, talk a little bit about them. Um, most of them are going to be really from probably that 80s, um, 80s to early 90s era. And cards that are just kind of iconic from that era. And so for episode one of Coffee and Cards, we've got old Brian Taylor. So if you were a collector during that time period, of uh, this was early 90s, this was 1991, you definitely know who Brian Taylor is. So if for those who don't, uh, Brian Taylor was the number one uh, draft pick in the 1991 draft. Yeah, I see right there, 90, 1991 draft pick. But he was the number one pick by the New York Yankees. Um, just want to flip the card over here for a second. Let's take a look at it. I, was, I knew, obviously, he had been good to be number one pick, but it's a little hard to read. But if you look his senior year, innings pitch, it's a little hard because it's just uh, the coloring on the back of the card. He pitched 88 innings. Uh, his senior year of high school, and he had 213 strikeouts. Um, that's well over two strikeouts per inning. So he was he was striking out two to three batters in inning, which is uh, incredible. Um, he was a left-hander, so obviously left-hander with heat. Um, you know, is going to go pretty high. So yeah, he was the number one pick in the 1991 draft, and. Uh, he his, his career started off good. I think his first couple of years in the minors, he was doing really well. And then um, it was over real quick. I believe he got into a, a bar fight, if that was, messed up his arm and never, never made it to um, the major leagues. Um, you know, so with this card, and there's a bunch of prospects like this during that, and there's tons, thousands probably of prospects. Um, but with him being the number one pick, can you just imagine – you know, in today's era of cards and prospecting, like what was it, Jason Dominguez? His cards were going for hundreds of thousands, you know, thousands of dollars um, this past year. You know, it was a, he was a Yankees prospect. Um, and just imagine how much Brian Taylor, you know, number one pick of the Yankees, you know, left hand flamethrower, um, how much his cards would have been out of the box, you know, in, in 2020, um, you know, period of time. It, I mean, you'd be looking at really the same types of prices, maybe even higher. And, you know, so it's cards, you know, cards like this that I remember that um, really make me personally, it's hard for me to pull, like to even think about spending that kind of money on prospects that have improved themselves. It's a little bit easier in basketball because they go to the NBA, obviously, right away. Most of them out of the draft and you see results really quickly. And in baseball, you know, it's just, it's so hit and miss, you know, literally. And, um, so yeah, uh, 1991, Brian Taylor. I mean, like I said, if you were a fan of our collector back in during that period of time, you obviously knew of him. You knew of this card and uh, just a little piece of baseball card history. So this is it for the first episode of Coffee and Cards. See you, everyone. Be good.